What is good YouTube? Chris is Kicks here back with another sneaker review and today we have the Nike Air Jordan Retro 5 and Paris Saint Germain PSG. Um, this is a real mad one. I uploaded a video, I think it was Wednesday, either Tuesday or Wednesday, where I uploaded my review of the um, Nigel Sylvester Nike Jordan 1s, the uh, collab for Jordan Biking Co. And in that video I said that they're the first pair of sneakers that I paid resale for in a very long time because I just constantly take L's on the Nike sneakers app and um, I've never ever been able to win anything on the sneakers app. A day or two after I posted that video, these shoes released and I got my first ever W on the Nike sneakers app. So random. I don't know if the, the sneaker gods were listening, but that sneaker app's been around for like a good year, maybe even two. And I have never taken a win on that app. And after posting a video where I've paid resell and said I've never taken a win on that app, within a day or 48 hours, I, I take my first win. All right, anyway, so that's over. So let's get into the review. So these sneakers released at a random uh, time. Normally the sneakers app is uh, Saturday, 8 a.m. UK time. And it's always that way, unless it's a random one, like a Supreme one, I think they sometimes they'll do on a Thursday, or sometimes a collab, like an Undefeated will be a Thursday. Um, these dropped the same day as I think it was the undercover Nike Reacts elements. I think they dropped in the morning at 8am or 9am. And that was the only releases for that day on the sneakers app. Um, and I, I didn't even want them. Um, and I just randomly had my phone in my hand, I was like scrolling, looking at, I think, Instagram or something, and I get a notification from the sneakers app saying PSG Jordan, 1, uh, Jordan 5 um, just dropped. And I've never got a notification from the sneakers app unless I've asked it to um, give me a notification of a release, you know, like in the upcoming thing you set a notification. I've never just had a random notification from the app. So I clicked the link straight away. This was around, I think, 4 p.m. in the afternoon on, on uh, Thursday clicked it straight away because I just literally had my phone in my hand when I got the notification so instantly clicked it they were in my size click checkout and got them I was like what so I think just because it was a random like four o'clock in the afternoon drop that and I just happened to have my phone in my hand obviously there was not that many people going for the sneaker so that's how I must have managed to get them but yeah just random after like uh, all these years of never getting anything on a sneakers app I finally got a pair of sneakers on a sneakers app. So we'll get into the box. Standard Jordan 5 box. No PSG or Paris Saint Germain branding on the box. Nothing on the light, the sizing label to mention anything, any sort of collab. Plain black paper. And we'll get into the sneakers. Um, so in, in in essence, um, what these are are just a metallic silver or, or black metallic Jordan Five. Um, they haven't really done much, and to be honest with you, um, I don't even know why I, I tried to buy these. I just got caught up in the hype of a limited edition release. Because um, in honesty, I, I don't really watch football. I'm not a fan of PSG. And I don't like the Jordan 5. I only have one pair of Jordan 5s in my entire sneaker collection, which is the uh, Supreme Jordan 5s. I had other Jordan 5s, but I got rid of, I'd say, 90% of my Jordan collection. I, uh, I've really gone off Jordans. Um, so these are the, the only second pair of Jordan 5s that I have in my collection. Um, yeah, I don't like PSG. I don't like Jordan 5s. If these were just a standard metallic 5, I wouldn't buy them. Um, but anyway... I got caught up in the hype, and I got my first W on the sneakers app, so don't trash me for that. Um, right, we'll get into the sneakers. Basically, a Jordan Black Metallic 5, which is a black Jordan 5 with a silver um, shark teeth on the side paneling. In that. It's not even metallic silver, so on the, on the metallic ones, it would be um, like a silvery color, whereas this is like a, almost like an Oreo cookies and cream off-white kind of slight color to it. But really, it's a metallic 5, or, uh, you know, what they've done is... They put some Paris branding underneath the mid panel uh, with the Jumpman logo as the A in Paris. They've switched the 
23 to a 75. Now the 75 um, in the description on the sneakers app, it says the 75 is the Paris postcodes. So every postcode in Paris begins with 75. So that's what this 75 is on the side of the sneaker. They've blacked out the tongue. So normally on a pair of Jordan 5s, you would have a 3M tongue. This is still 3M, uh, it's definitely reflective, but it would be the silvery color that 3M material usually is. So they've blacked that out. Uh, and you do have on the back of the sneaker, which is probably the only nice part of the logo, but a nice part of the collab. You've got the PSG logo, but with the jump man in the middle there. And you do have that red, white, and uh, black sort of strip down the back of the um, heel patch. On the uh, tongues, normally you have uh, Jordan. No, on fives, you don't, it's the fours that have it. Anyway, you've got Paris upside down on the left foot. And I might as well show it to you that way. What am I showing it to you upside down for? They're upside down. But on the tongue, on this one, is it Ichi Sest? Siest? Uh, same thing that's on the insole. I believe it's the chant that uh, the PSG... Wow, that's real dark. How are we going to see this? All right, let's see. Don't want to focus. All right, there we go. I don't know what it says. It's a chant for the Paris football team. That's on both the insoles in the heel area. And then it's obviously on the back of the tongue upside down on the left sneaker and then on the right. So I guess, yeah, if you went, it, it would be the same thing, but it's spread over two things. And on the heel, sorry, not heel, the outsole, you do have that PSG logo with the uh, jump man in the middle again on this sort of clear icy sole. Um, like I said, not too much to say. They are just a basic metallic five, Jordan five without the metallic. They haven't got the silver shark teeth. They've got that white cookies and Oreo and they've just, the same thing with the Supreme collab, I guess. They just very, very basic. All they've done is change the underlay behind that, change the number and stuck something on the back. They haven't really done anything. It's just a blacked out one. Um, I believe the, the football kit has like a white line down the middle. So I think they should have done that. Like maybe just a complete white line down the, the, the center part of the sneaker. Just to make it look like the kit. That would have been a bit of something extra to do. But yeah, in general just a, a very, very lazy collab in my opinion. Medial side is exactly the same. You just have that Paris with the uh, Jordan Jumpman behind the webbing on the mid panel. Black midsole with uh, the Oreo cookies and cream colored sort of speckling on the shark teeth areas. Blacked out, that's it. Um, I don't really have much to say. I'm not a PSG fan. I'm not a Jordan 5 fan. Jordan 5 is I think one of the most uncomfortable clunky Jordans just because the, the back area, it comes up so high and it's so thick that for me whenever I walk I just feel it's so walk wearing them I feel it's so like restricted around the back of my ankle like the, sneak the sneakers always like jamming into my my legs and stuff they're not they're not a very comfortable pair of Jordans like I said I've, I've got rid of like 90% of my Jordan collection anyway so um, these are the only pair of fives I have apart from the Supreme ones material wise um, generic Nike material nothing special it's uh, obviously a black nubuck no brush to it or anything um, nothing special going on with that yeah. Let me know what you think. Did you manage to cop? Did you um, do you think there's going to be another release? Was that like a special quick release, and then they'll do a more general release? Because all of the rest of the stuff just released on the Nike uh, app, not the sneakers app. The football kits, the football boots, um, the training kit, that all just released on Nike's general store, um, and I think most of it's still in stock. But these obviously were the collab for the Jordan Five. These dropped on sneakers at a random time, no announcement. I have heard that in November they're releasing a pair of Jordan 1s which look like a black canvas and they have the um, red, white and black around the, the tongue tab. That's all I've seen on those. They're probably going to have the same kind of deal on the sole as well. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Let me know your thoughts on the collab. Are you a PSG fan? Is it the first time that Jordan brand has sponsored a football team, a soccer team if you're American? Uh, is that why it's kind of hyped up? Because um, I don't really follow football, so I don't know if Jordan normally makes soccer brand or football brand kits. So is it their first time sponsoring a football team, which is why they're so hyped, or if there's any hype around them? Resale doesn't really seem to be that much at the moment. Um, the retail on them was pretty high anyway. These were 169 so £170. 
and uh, current resale prices I've seen anywhere from sort of 220 to 300 so they're not really reselling that much so there's not much resale on them at the moment uh, it might just be that all pairs are only getting delivered today and the prices might go up or down um, in the next few weeks but we'll see um, if you want to follow me on social media that's always alright actually the PSG logo but once that's a clear soul so once that's there you ain't going to see that anymore um, if you want to follow me on social media Instagram is going to be the best one um, links are in the description if you're too lazy to type it in but it is Chris underscore S underscore Ramos uh, hit me up on Instagram, I always reply to comments on there, and I reply to all the comments on my YouTube channel. I'm just gassed that I took a W on a sneakers app, to be honest with you. Um, this is probably one of my worst reviews, I've really not said much about the sneaker. So apologies, my focus is just finally I got a pair of sneakers off the sneakers app. Alright man, hope you enjoyed the review, sorry there's not much to say. Materials, generic, sizing as normal for Jordan brand. Um, a few little hits, obviously, the number, the back panel the back heel tab of the shoe, the insole, back of the tongue, blacked out tongue. I would have been uh, nice to see something on the lace lock, maybe the PSG logo on the top or on the back of the black bit. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, hit me up in the comment section. Peace.